Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. This is Eric, your independent Sensi consultant. Um, I haven't released a video in quite a while, but I wanted to um, do kind of a haul video for the summer. And um, we had some new things come in I'm pretty excited about. So this isn't necessarily a first sniffs. However, um, I'll let you know my opinion on uh, these items for sure. So the first thing is the um, scent and warmer, or sorry, the scent of the month for June, and that is Jam and Jubilee. So this one, um, this is red berry compote and blackberry zest are ready to party with the irresistible addition of sugared syrup. So um, I don't really care for this. <laughs> I've been pretty open in the past and like on, I do like Facebook lives a lot. Um, I'm wanting to get back into doing YouTube more. So what I want to do on Facebook live, I may just start doing YouTube. So, um, and then posting the YouTube video, but that's besides the fact. I don't really care for this mainly because it just smells like raspberry to me. Like that's just all I really get from it. You definitely get the raspberry, maybe a little bit of blackberry, um, and then the sugared syrup gives it like a extra sweetness. Yeah, like it would be a decent kitchen scent, um, but I, I just don't really care for this that much. So that's my opinion. That's Jam and Jubilee. And I will go ahead and smell the pods with you. So... These smell a little different, and that will happen sometimes if you have two products that are like uh, the same fragrance. Uh, the pods might smell a little different from the bar, so yeah, I, I don't really care for this. This, um, yeah, that's this is not my jam, so that's just my opinion. Some people may absolutely love it, but that's just what I have going on there, um, and I have several um, summer collection products. I actually, um, I had the wax bars with the little bag. Um, it comes with this really cute tropical bag. Um, however, I, um, it was actually for a customer and I, um, you know, I gave her her order yesterday. So, um, I have a few of them to smell in the, um, pods today. So I'm going to do that. And I do remember how a lot of them smelled already. So um, I will let you know that uh, tropical coconut and nectar, tropical coconut, coconut nectar was a really good coconut scent. Um, if you like coconut and peach and that sort of thing, I think you would really like that. Um, it's a good coconut. Um, I'm not sure how it would perform necessarily. Um, I haven't warmed it yet, but hopefully you would like it too. I think if anyone liked coconut, they would enjoy that scent. Um, and then the next one that I don't have is Sunset Sky and Strawberry. This was Sunset Sky cast light on vibrant strawberry and white woods. So I think it was a little bit too much of the white woods. I love woodsy scents, but it kind of just smelled like strawberry rose to me and I didn't really care for that. So that was my personal opinion. Um, it was my least favorite, so just take, take that as you will. Um, but I do have Water Lily and Bergamot in the pods, and I have two other pods. So Water Lily and Bergamot, this was probably my second favorite. This is Bergamot and White Musk relax next to pools of blooming water lily. It's really good, really fresh. Um, I did have a bar of it in the office that I warmed um, for about a week. And I feel like on the third day, it was it was starting to wear off. Like we do have some scents that, um, you know, they last for quite a while. And, but also my warmer in my office is on all day long. So at least eight hours while I work in here, I have, you know, I work from home, so um, at least eight hours, so that could be why, whereas, like, my living room warmers and kitchen warmers, um, I might only turn on, like, four or five hours a day, maybe six, so it just kind of depends, but, um, I did kind of notice that it only lasted maybe a few days, so just keep that in mind, um, but, you know, everybody's nose is different, too. You might absolutely, like, think it's a powerhouse. 
you might lose it after a day or so. Like, you know, everybody's different. Some people, I'm like, that one didn't last very long for me. And they're like, oh, I could smell it for days. And so, you know, it just kind of depends. Next is key lime and grapefruit. A lot of people have really enjoyed this and I like it more than I thought it would. I have not worn this yet, but this is Crystallized sugar sweetens a zesty fusion of key lime and pink grapefruit. So it kind of just smells like it sounds, which is not a bad thing. Um, you, you definitely get that key lime like right away. It's really, really good, honestly. I really like this one. And I don't normally like like lime or especially grapefruit scents, but I'm kind of getting into like the more citrusy scents. This is good. It's a really good summer scent. It has almost like a margarita type smell, like a lime margarita, if you like that sort of thing. You definitely get the lime in there and like just a hint of grapefruit. It's not overpowering with the grapefruit. If it was, I don't think I'd like it. Yeah, that's a good citrus scent. So check that out. Key lime and grapefruit. All right, and then my favorite, and I'm so glad I snagged like every product uh, in this fragrance is pink pineapple and sugar. So this is palm trees sway over exotic pink pineapple, fresh papaya, and crystallized sugar. That's a little bit of a mouthful, but it's essentially pink pineapple, papaya, and crystallized sugar. Y'all, this is so good. It's almost like a pretty perfume, and I really like that kind of thing. Um, you definitely get the pineapple. It's not overly sweet. Maybe like a little bit of papaya and then like the sugar gives it like a sweetness, but it's not like bakery sweet. We had in the Valentine's Day collection, maybe three years ago, um, there was one called Keep It Sassy. And this smells very similar to that. And I did not add that one to my Scentsy Club and I was really mad at myself. So I'm definitely adding this one because it smells so similar. So I love it. And the pod smelled just like the wax did. We warmed the wax of this in the living room and it had been about a week and a half. And it was still, and I usually change my wax like once a week, but I was like, I can still smell this like and I and it's it was strong still I could I could really really smell it so I was like I'm gonna give this another day or two and then change the wax so just keep that in mind it's a powerhouse it's a really good one so and then we have the fragrance flowers so I snagged a fragrance flower in peanut pink pineapple and sugar and water lily and bergamot um, I knew those were my two favorites we consultants had early access to the wax bars so um, that was really nice to be able to go ahead and order those and smell them and um, these are my two favorites so <clears throat> these actually are the daisy and the, the flowers here are in a separate box so that's how they come now you want to be really careful with them i'm not going to take these out of the box and put them together just yet i actually just changed out our fragrance flowers the other day so um but these are really cool you want to jump on these because they are colorful so um these will be eventually a bluish flower like this color blue and these will eventually be a pink um pink daisy blue uh daisy so it'll be really really cute i'm super excited for these i'll probably um change them out again maybe like next month or something so we'll see i keep one in each bathroom so we have two bathrooms so that's the fragrance flowers and then I was really excited about this too. This is the laundry bundle and it's water lily and bergamot. And since I really, really liked that scent, I snagged this collection or this uh, laundry bundle. And I love the artwork on this. It's really, really cute. So water lily and bergamot. Um, I will say the washer whips smell a little different from the actual from the bar or the um, pod, but still very fresh, very clean, very aquatic. So I really like that. I'm excited to see how that performs, but I really enjoy it. And then lastly, we have some body care products. And of course it's in pink pineapple and sugar. So I was really, really excited. So these are body wipes 
and their brand new product to Scentsy. This is the only scent that we have currently, and it's an LTO, just meaning a limited time offer. Once they're gone, they're gone. They were in last month's whiff box, so in the May whiff box. And um, these are just, um, I've been told that they're good like after the gym or after you've been sweating, after you've been doing yard work or out at the beach. Um, these are really, really nice. So I'm excited to give these a try. I don't necessarily know when I will, but I know it's summertime. Um, I Even though it's kind of hot outside now, I still go on walks. So I feel like these would be really nice um, if I'm not necessarily ready to take a shower yet or something. These would be nice to just kind of wipe off, you know, any like sweat or anything like that. So I am looking forward to giving these a try. And then lastly, I love the hand cream. So this is also the pink pineapple and sugar hand cream. And I'm going to smell it real quick. Yeah, so good. I love the hand cream. It's very hydrating. Um, it's not overly thick or overly thin. It's kind of like in the middle there. Um, and this has sunflower oil and aloe in it. So it's really, really good. I like to put it on my sunburns. So that's just my opinion, What it's something I like to do. We used to have body cream, um, but it was discontinued. So I'm really glad they kept this around because it's really, really good when you travel because you can also use this as body cream. I think it was essentially the same consistency, but this is the smaller bottle. This is the 2.7 ounce bottle. So this is TSA approved. So I'm looking forward to taking this on my next trip, which is, um, I think Philadelphia. Yeah, I think I'm going to Philadelphia in October and we are flying. So I'm really, really excited. I'm going to take this with me. Right. So that was my little summer haul. I'm hoping to have more videos in the future. I like this natural lighting coming in here, so I'm going to keep trying to do videos that way. But if you have any questions or comments, if you um, have smelled any of these, let me know your favorites. Otherwise, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.